what could one possibly get out of discouraging a creative person from being creative? One of the things that drives creative people is to find out some way to have an original idea, to extrapolate something out of when you see all of these things around that are being done the same way. And you're trying to extrapolate something that's different out of this sea of sameness. So what do you get out of discouraging someone from being creative? What do you get out of it? For instance, there was someone on Facebook recently who made this post basically stating, well, all the types of music have already been written. All, type, all songs have already been written. And they back it up with this idea that, well, there's only so many notes, there's only so many rhythm patterns that can be done, and we've been making music for a long time, therefore everything's already been written. Now, eventually I got him to admit, well, okay, maybe not everything's already been written, but things are finite. I'm like, well, that wasn't your original point. And I have to question, what's the point in just stating something like that randomly? I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's, oh, to be fair, it's not like he was having a conversation with someone that's creative and he just suddenly comes out with that. But he posted it as if it's just some big important thing that we should know. What's the point in pushing that? Oh, I'm just being honest. What, so do you go around, uh... <laughs> do you go around coming up to people and saying, Oh, hey lady, hey, those pants make your butt look really big. I mean, at what point, you know, I mean, what, what's the motive behind saying these things? Sometimes I think people say this stuff because, Oh, I want to make myself look really intelligent. Look, I can bring up random facts that make people feel like shit about themselves and make people want to give up on being creative. Hey, I'm so proud of myself. So I brought up, you know, would you say to somebody, well, we have no purpose. Our lives have no meaning. We're just a speck on this planet, and we have no meaning. I mean, it's not saying that you have to give your life your own meaning. No, it's just saying we have no meaning. There is no meaning. There's nothing. There's nothing to live for. Your life is purposeless. And he goes, oh, well, yeah, I, I don't disagree with that. Dad, yeah, that's, that's, that's totally logical. That's being honest, I'm thinking to myself, you would just come up and say that to somebody? What would be your motive in telling someone something like that? To those watching, would you say that to someone who's depressed? Oh, I imagine some of the people here on YouTube would. Maybe not the people who are subscribed to me, because most of the people who are subscribed to me are, have some decency. But some of the people who, the anonymous people on the internet, would gladly say something like that. Because some people just seem to get off on other people's misery. So they'll create misery. But, you know, what can you possibly get, though, going back to the creative thing, what do you possibly get? out of discouraging someone who's creative from being creative. What do you possibly get out of it? Do you think that, that it's going to make them, oh, well, you know, everything's already been created, I, I'll just create something that's mediocre and be happy about it. Do you really think that's what, what you're saying is going to do? What's your motive? There's only a certain amount of 
I mean, if you want to break things apart like a literature class does, well, there's only a certain amount of types of, of uh, plots, uh, story plots. Hey, let me just bring this up at random. We're not studying anything, but here, let me bring it up at random. Don't I look smart? What's the motive? What is your motive for saying something like that just at random? I find it strange. I find it very strange.